Welcome back coding fans. Here we are on using instances of different types. So we're looking at different types. Uh, so our first one, obviously, let expert equal capital expert. And that type is able to turn locks up and down and then character equals capital character. And he's going to do his normal character stuff. So let's go ahead and run it and see where they pop up. So you can see our character uh, needs to go collect this gem, turn right, go across that platform into the portal over and get that gem. And our expert just needs to move forward and move the gem up and down as needed, or move the lock up and down as needed. So different types mean different things. So this expert type is this expert instance who is this uh, expert at the top of our page. This character type is this particular character. In this case, he's Hopper. Um, and he's initialized right here. So let's go ahead and start working on this. There's no loops or easy code that I can think of uh, that's better than just expressly using commands. So we'll just kind of go through this pretty easy. Um, if you already know what's going on, you can just go ahead and press pause, try and solve it, and see where we're, where we're at uh, at the end of this. So let's take a look at what's going on. First thing I'm going to do is get my expert to dot move forward. And then the first thing I'm going to get him to do is turn the lock up. This yellow platform is going to move up so that our character can move over to that portal. When he pops up through this portal, this uh, gym down here on the platform will be even higher because both of these yellow platforms are controlled by that lock. So then we'll need him to turn it down multiple times. But just to start off, we're going to have our expert dot turn lock up uh, to get our platform up and I'm just gonna go ahead and run it to make sure that the platform gets where I need it to I could just as easily start off with the character moving forward and collecting the gem moving forward turning right uh, then have it happen but I'm gonna go ahead and do this here and then we'll have our character do stuff so lowercase character dot move forward lowercase character dot Collect gem, return lowercase character dot move forward. Um, if you are getting tired of clicking all these buttons, you could just as easily, uh, they do really well in pairs, and just copy and paste these first two. Um, and then just change uh, collect gem to turn right and that kind of stuff, but I'm already here. So we'll just go character dot turn right and then move forward, move forward. So character dot move forward. And once again, I could copy and paste, but this doesn't take that long. Last one, character dot move forward. All right, so making sure my counting is correct, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, and we'll make sure that I end up over in front of the platform that is raised even higher. Uh, to see that we need to be. There it is again. All right, just hit OK. Um, just by hitting OK, you'll be fine. Double click. Don't hit start over. Relaunch the page. And see, our code comes back. If you hit start over, it erases everything. So this is not a problem. And we'll go ahead and run it. It likes to start off running low and then speed it up. So there's our guy. Here we go. All right, click, right, right. And stops right there. Perfect. That's exactly where we need our character to be. So I'm going to grab some new lines of code. Split it up between the experts. So I'm going to go expert dot turn lock down. And we're going to get him to do that at least one more time. Dot turn lock down. I'm going to assume that's going to be right, but we'll just see. And then we need to move forward and collect gem. We've got that already. 
so I, I'm going to copy and paste that. Uh, so I copy and paste, or I select, turn it blue, hit copy, paste it down here, um, and we should be all right like this. We know this part works. Cut right there. There we go. We got it. Now, once again, um, if you went a different order, you could just as easily get this stuff. Um, we could cut out that. And after our character moves forward and turns right, they can't move anymore until our expert um, turns the lock up. And we could change it so we get the character to move forward first, collect gem, move forward, turn right, then get the expert to move forward and turn the lock up and then have the character keep going. So now we go. Um, so as you can see, order doesn't really matter. Um, lots of different ways to do this one correct. Uh, but from what I've found, just expressly com coding with commands on this one is pretty much the best way to go about it. As you can see, it's not much code um, and it works out really well. All right, we'll catch you on the last one.